Hi friends, I'm Colonel Failure. Welcome back to the Farm Simulator, uh, where I'm I'm collecting up a few barrels of uh, of grass. It's grass. It's not hay. It's grass. Um, it's going to have plenty of time. We're in August, and therefore it's going to have a little while to uh, to ferment and turn into something that actually has a dollar value associated with it, uh, which is just as well, given that I'm down to me last six and a half grand in the bank. Everything's just so flaming expensive. Uh, I, I may have I may have made a misjudgment. I don't know. It's too soon to say. In that uh, I set Johnny Helper because I was I was time poor at the, at the time. You see, uh, my personal time. So I set Johnny Helper on mowing, and he did a he did a bang up job. This is the second load that I've I've picked up, uh, and uh, and that's all good. While I got on with prepping the fields for the next generation. You see. Uh, what did turn out to be moderately interesting was that the the payday from oats was pretty strong. Yeah, it was it was not too bad at all. I've still got eight thousand or so wheat uh, stored in the uh, in the train silo. I'm, I'm kind of pointed at it in the uh, in the train silo, uh, which I can I can gather it up later when the prices are a little bit more uh, in a little bit more zesty, and that'll be good. Uh, but what I'm what I'm largely waiting for is January. January is where prices peak for both uh, straw bales and for uh, and for wrapped bales alike uh, for silage, and uh, and therefore I'm just I'm just storing them up until that point so I can get a, a good return on investment. But I am only one month away from being able to harvest my grapes. The thing is, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford the machinery. Now, someone in the comments said uh, that I should uh, buy the bit of equipment that allows you to service your own vehicles because it saves you a heck of a lot of cost on uh, on vehicle repair. I didn't know that. I assumed it was going to be just uh, you know, convenient to be able to repair your own vehicles locally. But if it's cheaper, then uh, then I'm all ears. So uh, so when January rolls around and I end up liquidizing liquidizing my uh, my stock of barrels. They're bales, not barrels. They are barrel shaped. Um, yeah, when I end up liquidizing those, uh, liquidating or liquid, liquiding those, uh, then uh, then maybe that's an investment that I'll make. Either way, my plan at the moment is to uh, uh, is to to basically run a few cycles uh, of years through, uh, in order to uh, you know hopefully build up a little stash of cash. This tractor. Is uh, is not my normal tractor? No, it's not. I, this is a rental, along with this roller, and uh, and that's where I th I feel I may have uh, made a misjudgment in uh, in splashing out for a rental rather than rather than just taking the time and using my main tractor for everything. The thing is, using my main tractor for everything, that's going to incur a, a twenty eight grand repair bill at some point. Come on, get get rolling there, son. Just I want I want to go hands free for a minute. There you are. That's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, just keep rolling. Uh, the yields on the fields were pretty good. You know, nothing to complain about. But then the second you pay for uh, uh, for maintenance, that's all wiped out. And of course, if you if you dump sixty grand into uh, the development of a uh, of a vineyard, that that makes your money disappear quite quickly as well. Um, but uh, no. It's good. Uh, I mean, the, the one benefit I've got is I've got land galore. So, in theory, there's absolutely nothing to stop me turning a whole bunch more fields, uh, a whole bunch more land into uh, into workable fields. But uh, but then you've got to do all of the palaver associated with it. And given that uh, Johnny Helper is he's not brilliant uh, in a field-based scenario, I, I swear that you need some kind of marker system whereby you plonk in uh, enough corners to place a, uh, a shape that represents your field, uh, whether that's grass or, or crops or whatever, uh, and then assigning the helper to work that zone whereby they can, uh, they can use whatever logic necessary to cover the whole thing. Uh, and that way they should be able to do the lot. It's, it's trying to be too clever for its own good, you see. It tries to recognise that is a field, and it will then work that field. But if you've built something that is a little bit atypical, then you as a human can work it no problem at all. But the uh, the helpers get a bit flummoxed, 
and uh, and end up not helping so you have to do it yourself and that's I mean that's all part of the fun but if you if you don't have all the time in the world then uh, then you you're inevitably not going to get it all done or you're going to wait you're going to spend all your time plowing and raking and stone gather I tell you when I I used a uh, a watch them call it cultivator on the field this time around rather than plowing it as I usually do and uh, the amount of stones it kicked up was horrendous so uh, so obviously gathered up all the stones and the amount of money I made from that was probably about 600 quid in total and given that I spent over 100k on my stone grabber plus another 10 grand on the uh, sell your stones here made me feel like quite the wally I could tell you you go, go like they must have seen me coming if anything I should just sell that and then what? Rent one when you need it? Oh, that's once a season. I mean, now you've got it. You might as well keep hold of it. Yeah, but you see, I, need the, I do need the money. You do, I certainly do. Uh, the, also, the, the, uh, the rental cost on this tractor compared to the one that I've got. So the overall cost of this tractor. This is 122 grand's worth of tractor, this one. It's, it's classified as medium. It can use the machinery that I've got kicking around the place. It's just not the gruntiest beast you're ever going to find. Oh, apart from the plough. It would need a front weight in order to use the plough. Um, but it's just not... It's not got any get up and go to it. It's just a bit gutless. But it's a third the price of the one that I ended up actually buying. I don't know. I'm just pontificating. I'm going to get to the end of this row and then we're going to do something more interesting. No, no, no. Seriously. This is, this is all just preamble. I'm, build, I'm painting a scenario for you, friends. No, uh, here's the plan. Here's the, the scheme. I've lost another three grand. I guess my tractor rental just came due. Uh, that's a shame. Um, uh, yeah, is, uh, is make enough money to pay for the grape harvesting kit that I'm going to need. And I'll be honest, I've not priced it up yet. So uh, I might be in for a rude awakening. And we may end up having to flex my bales a little earlier than intended. Uh, such as thank you for the uh, for the boost there in your in your reno yes uh, no that's much appreciated um so yes yeah, so over the last few months i have been uh, I've, I've reset my greenhouse to be auto selling uh, but before that we uh, we stored them up and as a result i've got 500 liters of strawberries there and there uh, 500 liters of tomatoes more strawberries more strawberries tomatoes lettuces and a few more strawberries Plus, uh, as we go down to the chickens, who are currently alive, I believe. Yeah, 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 there we go. Still 730 litres in there. Uh, 1,100 eggs in that one. And uh, the other one, 1,100 eggs. So, uh, so the aim of the game today is going to be, let's go and sell all of those. The prices are not going to be at their best, because I've not checked. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, that's the, that's the target. I need to open the... Open the, open the do you have to attach a tractor to open the trailer? I think you do. Okay, all right, fine. I mean, you should use a pickup truck or something like that. In fact, this tractor cost me 25 grand, right? Brand new. Brand new tractor, 25 grand. Worth it, frankly, for a little runabout. But uh, but on reflection, I should have, picked, should have gone with a pickup truck instead. But hey-ho. Because at least a pickup truck will get you places in a wriggle. No, you, you still need to do it from the tractor. Do I? Yeah, like Y or something, or X. There you go. Right, so this operate. I've, I've tried this once, and uh, it went really well. Um, so here we go. Now, we, we grab we grab a pallet of this. Give me, give me a pallet of that. It's not going to let you. Oh, no, is, it, is that because it's too heavy? It's because it's too heavy. It's 400 kilos, each one of these. You need a forklift. Well, I do have a forklift. Oh, dear. Huh? Hey? Huh? Yeah, I know it's a bale fork, but it amounts, to, it amounts to the same thing. Do you reckon you'll get that underneath the bottom of a pallet? I reckon you could I reckon you could flick a pallet. That's not exactly what I had in mind. Now, when I, when I tried this before, I did it by hand, and uh, let's just say it didn't go brilliantly. Because uh, it didn't. Um, and, uh, and therefore... I think this is probably going to go worse. You haven't even got the right forks here. You're going to have trouble getting underneath that pallet. No, I'm not. Look, see? Ta-da! 
balancing act. Sign me up for Cirque du Soleil. Do you don't want to use the flatbed instead? You might have more success. Look, I bought this flipping truck because I thought that this wagon might auto load. Uh, front, well, yes, yeah, so is this going well? All right, okay, now get shot of it. Okay. Oh, back in. All right, in. Zoom in a little bit. There you go. Right. It's there. Now get it off. Gently, gently, gent, gently. I think maybe going first person would work. No, no, I can barely see my own face. Why are we just drifting sideways? Best not to ask. Get it in there. All right, okay, that's stuffed it in. Now, shake it off. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. We've got it in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now, now work out why you were drifting. Who knows? But we've got that. That's that's one punnet uh, all uh, all set up. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't get another couple in. Up. Gotcha. Right. Tomatoes it is. Yeah, it's fine. Fresh produce, everybody. Uh, and uh, and they've all been given the, uh, the test to see if they're able to resist bruising. By which, I mean, I've pretty much driven a tractor over the top of it. No, no, you're going to have to slide it in between with the forks going either side of the door. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this is how it was intended. That's it. Shove it in, wiggle it, and declare victory. No, don't declare victory. Don't do not declare victory. Up, forward, 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 forward. Yes, and release. It's in. Okay, good. That's two. We're gonna go for three. All right. Well, this is this is so far. It's working somewhere between better than expected and as well as expected so that's that's nice now i think you're gonna have to slide this in the top the trick is going to be not popping the tomatoes out along the way yeah, yeah you're a bit high no no i'm not there you go come on just cut there you go and go yep that helps yeah. do you reckon yeah i reckon okay now we oi car pack it in you're not helping all right wiggle it free try it Wiggle it free. Wiggle it free. Oh, you silly car! Um, oh, that was oh, that was rude. All right, put the tractor in the middle of the road. All right, okay, it's gone. It's gone wrong. Yeah, we're now we're now carrying. That's fallen out the back. Yeah, I hadn't anticipated having the whole thing caught there quite so. Oh no, my tomatoes have fallen out. Yeah. All right, okay, well, okay, so let's work the problem. Yeah. All right, okay, got a, got a solution to the problem. All right, part, part one of the solution is, uh, if it wasn't for the AI traffic there, we'd be golden about now, or we'd at least be silver. Uh, right, no, no, don't, don't, don't stick the tree. There you go, get this over here. All right, and then uh, plunk that on there. All right, cool. Now, back her up. Yeah. We're going to create a roadblock, you see? Right, and that way, all of these flipping sociopaths using the road can't interfere with my important business. Okay. We appear to have a punnet underneath the tree there as well. Yeah, 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 we do. But of course, they're not just going to come from that direction. No, they're going to come from both directions. So I'm going to seal off this bit of road. Yeah, it makes me rather regret having sold all of my bales. Uh, right. Come on, there you go. Yep. Which side of the road do you need to clear off? I think it's I think it's right. I can't remember what side anybody drives on, but that should do the trick anyway. Okay, good. Yeah, and then maybe they'll leave me alone to do the important work of feeding humanity. There you go, that's works. Look, there's a white van man there who's unable to proceed. That sucks to be him. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we're gonna have to have another swing at getting the tomatoes in. It's a shame. Because they were in almost perfectly. Really? You're going to go with perfect as that one, were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was, I thought that was pretty swish. I mean, they're on the hill at the moment. You know, you could go down the hill and maybe pick them up that way. Nah, I won't need to. Ah, oh, almost. Right. Oh, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's not helpful. You're not going to connect with that at all. Yeah, okay, true. No, yeah. No, this... I hope this is the kind of adventure you were hoping for today, because this is the kind of adventure you're getting. Right, now. 
just want to sell three punnets of this stuff. You know, sticking it in the flatbed would be a lot easier. Yes. But it, we're not here for easy. You want easy mode? Go and watch someone who's currently role-playing what it's like for, to, for it to be raining. Um, right. That's, yeah. There you go. There you go. Oi. It's a slippery morning out here on my farm. I'm going to have to put on my special galoshes uh, in order to go and muck out the pig yard there. What are you doing? Well, this is... That's not... That's not right. No. Uh, you know what would be better? If you were to just shove the tomatoes into the right place for you to be able to get some uh, access. Is that what you had in mind? Not exactly, but it might work anyway. Uh, uh, right, there you go. That's it. Oh, I've got a wonky RJ42 connector on the back of my John Deere. Oh, I'm going to have to going to have to hit it with a socket wrench. There you are. That's, uh, that's proper farming talk, that is. I can roleplay a farmer. It's a piece of cake. And then you just complain about subsidies, bureaucracy, and Europe. And that's about it. Uh, yeah. No, wait. Yeah. Failing, of course, to understand that those subsidies you enjoyed came from Europe. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just... There you are. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on. And then give it a give it a shove. That's the ticket. Right. Now. Extract the prongs. No, that's not extracting the prongs. Prongs down. Prongs down. Yeah. Yeah. And extract the prongs. Ex prongs extracted. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Now then, for the next trick. The next trick is the uh, the trickiest of tricks. We've got to get this one on top of one or both of the two that are in there already. Brace yourself for some of the most high-octane behaviour you've ever come across. Yeah, there you go. Just wait for it, 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 wait, for, wait, no, that's not waiting for it. There you go, that's it, no, that's not it. Okay, back it up, just no, just... Are you are you Austin Powersing this? I might be a little bit. No, just and there we go. There we go. There we go. Got a good angle. All right. And yeah. Oh. Oh. It's is that there? Is it there? Is it? It's there. Okay. <sighs> Tense moments. This one, because with this next loading attempt, one of two things could happen. Three things. One of three things could happen with this loading attempt. Number one that could happen is it could go in perfectly. Okay? I'm putting that as the most likely thing to happen. Number two that could happen. It doesn't go in correctly and I end up ruining it for everybody by dragging the tomatoes back out again. Um, we don't want to have to think about that, but it's, it's a consideration nonetheless. Down a bit lower. Yeah, I know, but I don't want to go too low. There you go. Oh, oh uh, yeah. no, wait, no, your prongs are in the wrong place. I reckon it might work, because you can get both prongs inside there. Right. Option number three is we somehow interfere with the laws of the universe, grab hold of the trailer, and flip the entire thing into orbit. Okay. Again, I don't think that's one of the likely options, but it is certainly plausible. Right, there you go. That's... Yep. Hey, yep. Yep. Uh, for those of you saying, why don't you just go and get yourself some, you know, proper loading skids and that kind of behaviour. I ain't got no money. That's why I'm selling this stuff in the first... Oh, no. Don't you... Got an idea. Right. Can we now close the doors? That's opening the doors further. Oh, it would have been nice to open them that far in the first place. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, using the machinery in the way it's meant to be used. Super job. All right, let's go flog it. I hope this is going to be... How much money do I actually require? Uh, grape technology. I need one of these bad boys. You see, it's 242 large. Yeah. Customise, whatever. Just keep as is. And then, uh, what's the leasing cost? Yeah, I know. What's the leasing cost? D at least tell me what my, what my needs are here. Now, I will... And may have to take out a bank loan for this. Now, obviously, I'll pay that bank loan back as soon as I flog my bales. Um, but I would like to know what the shape of uh, of that dilemma is before before embarking on it. You know, 
you know, I can't help but feel, well, oh, what's the price on this gubbins at the moment? Yeah, yeah, you save that content, son. You save it for all you're worth. Uh, give me this, yeah. Uh, strawberries. Now, everything in this fresh fruit and veg business all hits the same pricing kind of index at the same time. 437. Where am I? September, October. So pretty much about the floor of the market. Perfect. Perfect. That's selling it at its lowest possible price. Yeah, sweet as a nut. Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I couldn't ask for more. Yeah. Ah, it's all right. It's all just details. <clears throat> Obviously, tomatoes got a slightly different price, but again, it is the lowest possible price at the moment. Same deal with lettuces. The cruel irony being that uh, while you can get a lettuce, it's cheap. When you're not supposed to get a lettuce because uh, it's off-season, it's expensive. How dare they? How dare they have any kind of modicum of, of uh, grounding in reality? I just, uh, I just don't even. I quite like my little catering truck. I think it's, I think it's sweet. Good sign hit. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Right, here we go at the Supermarché. If I were to clear six, seven grand off this, that would be brilliant. I fear, however, that I'm probably going to get about 1,500 quid, uh, which is not brilliant. No, it, which, which would fall under the heading of colossal waste of time. Anyway, here we go. The sale is on. Started at 3,600. And uh, it doesn't, no, it really doesn't bode well at all. Does not bode well. Not even slightly well, not even close to well. It bodes uh, very, very poor. Very poor indeed. Um, yeah, yeah. That was £875. What a colossal waste of time. You know what that is? That's the equivalent of, uh, of three and a half bales of silage. They go for 250 notes a pop, you know. And I've got millions of them. I'm just waiting for the price to bump up a bit. But, I mean, the price doesn't go through the sun or anything. Uh, but an extra, you know, 50 bucks uh, a, a bale is worth the price of admission. I could also go and flog the remainder of my wheat. Yeah. I could take out a loan. Yeah. I could sell this wagon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Given it's functionally useless, I think I will do. Uh, right, where are we? Give me miscellaneous. This. That's 8,600. Yeah, flog that. There you go. The flatbed does a much better job, to be honest, because you can just stick any old tosh on it, and it's all marvellous. Uh, right, go ahead. Talk to great tech. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. And lease it. It's going to cost me 12,000. I don't think I'm going to make 12,000 in grapes. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, from, from small acorns, you get bigger acorns, or at least some acorn paste and happy squirrels. Um, but I, I fail to see how it's a good idea at all. Yeah, it's not. No, it's not. You know, based on my experiences in farming so far, what you want is a couple of modestly cheap tractors that can pull stuff and fields of grass and that'll that'll do you you'll make money off that everything else you're just taking money spending it on stuff and then losing money every year yeah rather like the real thing then yeah i know there's there's no future in farming at all because food is too cheap food should be more expensive yeah well yeah it's not hey what are you going to do about it mr market forces nothing that's not my job if it was my job, I'd go, ah, yeah, that'll be popular. What? Doubling the cost of a price of, price of bread? Yeah, I, I can't see uh, can't see anyone objecting to that. How much is... Hang on, how, how much... No, I, wrong button. I didn't want to... I, we don't teleport, not in this dojo. Uh, go down to my uh, owned equipment. I'm just, just speculating. Are we even in the right place? No. There. Right. Uh, this, yeah. Forestry equipment, weeders, yeah, no, 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 stone pickers. It's 26 grand's worth of stone picker. You could do a lot of damage with that. Yeah, but then I'm going to have to pick stones myself in the future using some other means. Or just don't. I don't believe it affects the yield. I think it just affects the damage to your machinery. Yeah, 
Uh, grassland care. Oh, I picked one of these up in the sale. I don't honestly. I honestly don't know what it does. It's a grass roller and a weeder, but only works on grass fields. You see, and what I'm doing is uh, it is unassigned grassland. All right. Well, there's another two grand there. I got that one out of the uh, at the discount bundle. Speaking of which, what we got here? Well, you got the Zun Hammer. What is that? Some kind of spraying tanker muck spreader type deal? What is it? It's uh, ultralight tank wagon. Good, with an exhaust pipe of of excellence. Yeah, I think it's a muck spreader. You reckon? Yeah. Look, there's an outward nozzle. We don't need one, and I haven't got the money anyway. So uh, why are we even looking? What are you? That's a conveyor belt. <sighs> nice. The uh, Convio Flex thirteen eighty fits on the front of a class. Uh, yeah, that's that's so. Oh, there you go. Look, it does. Uh, Hamburgers and uh, toxic waste. Right. What are you? I think this is a forage wagon. It's a forage wagon, look. Does it say up there? Tanks transport liquids. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a forage wagon. Collects grass, hay or straw. Can also be filled with chaff. Uh, super. But that's that's not the way we operate. I'm a bailing man, you see. Conveyor belts are an alternate way to load your trailers. Yeah, but you still have to get the thing onto the conveyor belt in the first place, don't you? Don't you, though? Yeah. Anyway, that's that's what's in the sale. What I was looking at is, have I got anything else that I could flog? Got cedar, need that. Got plow, need that. Small tractor. What's the resale on this? Oh, it cost me 40 grand. 23 grand. All right, what's the going rate on a pickup truck? Just out of interest, since just since I'm here. 26, 20, 25. So I'd make a bit of a hit, but I could pick up the uh, the 1986 Lizard. Yeah. And that's got 200 horsepower. Yeah. And it'll do 120 kilometers an hour. Yeah. Okay. And it's got a flatbed on the back of it. Yeah. What are you using the tractor for at the moment? I'm basically using it just like a car. Yeah. You? Hello. Yeah, you've been a delight, but you're sold. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, no. Get shot. Uh, right. No. There you go. That's the, that's a decision that I should have made to begin with, and I want one of those. Yes, it's going to cost me a little bit extra, but that's that's fine. We'll set up standard. We'll set up standard. We'll set up still standard. Can I not have fat wheels? No. I want a I want a purple truck. No, I don't. I want. There you go. That's tasteful. Rim color black. There we go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 27k. It's cost me an extra two grand because I've coloured it in. Yeah, all right. Yep, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sweet. Yeah, super. Yeah, absolutely. All about that. Now, I've got 10,000. Do you know what that is? No longer enough to rent the grape stuff. Yeah. All right, let's go get my truck. Oh, I feel totally at home. And this, of course, will be the first time I've actually been able to drive at a proper speed. Oh yeah, oh this this is the this is the thinking that I should have had all along. Right. Okay. So we've demonstrated that my fruit and veg was a total total waste of everybody's time, uh, and that just leaving it on uh, leaving it on auto sale. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. I've got a I've got a flipping lip here. We can get some mad air. Yes, son. Maybe inadvisable. Oh, for those of you who say I should stop crashing it into stuff if I want to, uh, if I want to avoid maintenance costs. Nope, crashing it into stuff has no difference, uh, no no impact at all, as was evidenced by that particularly fine uh, piece of driving there. Oh, I have been filling up my tanker with the other tractor. Can you take the tanker? Can you though? Can you? Oh, and, uh, secondarily. I wonder if it can take the little trailer. Oh no. I'm sure it can. I'm sure it can. Look, it's a little trailer. It's, it's built to be... Uh, I've got a tow bar. This should be fine. This should... Uh, stop, pan stop panicking. It's going to be fine. Alright, okay. There we go. Yeah. No, oh, wait. Over here. Alright. Yeah. There we are. That's it. Back her up. Back her on up there. Back her up. Back it up some. Back her up. There we go. Hook it on. Bonanza. 
Right, now we load the eggs. Uh, let's uh, let's un unfurl the safety straps, which are the single greatest feature in this game. I'm not I'm not making that up. But it is. Right, pick those up. You can't. It's too heavy. Track to time then. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get as much as we can on the back of this trailer. Strap it all down because we can place it moderately unevenly, and no one's going to really. Bother. Can you get through there? Probably not. Um. Yeah, you, this is going to be interfering with your roadblock, which is not a great idea. Also, do you want to drop the tailgate on that? It might be easier to get stuff on board. Nah, we'll be okay. Alright, okay. As you say. Uh, right. Is that the line? Not quite. Yeah, just there. Right, and forwards. Yeah, and down. Yeah, down a bit more. Alright, and then angle. And attack. No, back up. Down a bit more and attack and up. Woo -woo. Yeah, these are these those special uh, shatterproof eggs that we've got going on here. Um, yeah, I'd, I I reckon it. No, it's all right. It's, they're they're all cased in styrofoam and bubble wrap, and uh, and as a result, they are completely impervious to being flung around the joint. Uh, yeah, come on, son, come on. Yeah, I know. We're treading old ground here. I already did the comedy loading of pallets bit. What I could do with here is the easy peasy loading of pallets bit, just to get the show kind of moving again. But uh, apparently, that's that's not something that you're going to furnish me with. Yeah. All right. Why are you giving me the beer? I don't know. Because you've got your pallet fork too low. All right. Uh, and no. You know you should buy a pallet fork, right? Yeah. Probably should. Did I sell the stone picker? I don't think you did. Go on, are you staying on? Are you staying on? Are you? Are you staying on? Yes, you are. Do you want to slide back a bit? No. Okay, well, that's that's fine. I can work with this. Just go gentle so we don't lose them again. All right. There you go. Probably not this angle. Shut your noise! Uh, right, there you go. That's that way. And, yeah... Just a bit of this. Yeah, a bit of that. Would you mind moving your car there, sir and or madam? Of course you wouldn't. No, oh, yeah, you're not going to move your car. It's an SUV. And one thing we know about SUV drivers is they don't move for anybody. I think they got a right to the road. I like seeing them face off against buses, personally. Because bus drivers are even more belligerent. Uh, right. In? Yeah. Plus, as a bus driver, you kind of go, I'm a bus driver. <gasps> what are you going to do? Uh, right, go on. Get off. Get off, my fox. Get off. Get, get, just, oi, gravity. Come on, come on. Just, I remember, incidentally, I remember the controls for doing this on the mouse, which is why this is all so fluid now. Get off. You don't live here now. Get off. Oh, you might live here now. Yeah, okay. Right, back it up. Stop your honking or you'll be next. Or you would be. Uh, if they made if they made it so that the AI cars in this could be interacted with, the fun we would have. First time you hear honk, you stick a bail fork straight through the windscreen and fling them into a dike or some such. That'd be terrific. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. It's not working. Why are you trying to do the same thing repeatedly? You know that never works. All right. Okay. All right. We'll go. We'll come around here. All right. Okay. And we'll come around here. Yeah. All right. And then we'll back it up. Yeah. And we'll try and just. No, right, no, wait, wait. There. Because that's got. It's, this has got a bit more of a lip to it. Has it? Yeah. It has. Right, there, yeah, back up, yeah. Twang it a bit, down a bit. No, a bit further forwards, right. Down a bit, and then twang it a bit. You just need it to drag, you see, ever so slightly. A little bit of drag will will solve our problems here. Okay, you know what's not solving our problems? Anything. Oh, wait. And, yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay. I mean, there's there's plan B. Actually, no, I think I might go straight for plan C. 
Yeah, but I mean, that's this going to render this this mission quite short. Yeah, no, we do that, and then we do that. There you go. Right, jobs are good. Yep. Or, can we lash this down, just out of interest? Oh, you peasant! Oh, it was all going... Oh, don't you have a life of your own? Spooky. Yeah, you better you better grab that before it runs away. Okay. I mean, it's not necessarily that it's the most important piece of equipment on the farm or anything, but it's it's more about I don't want to be harvesting a field at some point in the future and have to come back here, you spectral beast. Uh, get just connect. Did we get it? No, no. Come, just oi! You possessed evil doer. Just come. Satan has possessed my materials. Come here. Come here. I noticed, however, it's still not shaking the eggs loose. Maybe maybe Satan is in the eggs. Uh, right. Come, just wait. For, shh, sneak up on it. Don't scare it. Alright. There we go. There, just. No. No, you, you came at a bad angle, you fool. Yeah. Alright. It's okay. It's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. It was a good idea. Badly executed. It was a bad idea, badly executed. Okay, yes, it was all of those things and more. Let's go. Shh. Gently does it. Gently, gently does it. It's got a flipping force field. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, pull that up there. Right. And then what? Get closer. Yeah. And then grab. Ha, ha, ha. And the eggs are falling on the floor. Now, subsequent to uh, this particular operation, I bought a pallet fork. And uh, let me tell you, it works brilliantly. Yeah. So, there you go. In answer to the question, can you load a, uh, a trailer using the bale fork? The answer is, mm, uh, but you shouldn't. And, uh, and instead, you should go and get yourself a pallet fork. It's much easier. Also, they're very cheap. If you just want to rent one, they're like 400 quid a month or something like that. In fact, it might not even be, might only be like 770 quid a month. Cheap as chips, basically. But, uh, but had I done that straight away, we'd have, uh, we'd, have, we'd have not been able to enjoy this magnificent adventure. I'll be back with another ad magnificent adventure soon where we find out whether... Uh, the amount of money that I invested in grapes was, in fact, worth it. No, I'm not going to give you a spoiler. I was tempted to, but I'm, I'm just not going to. You're welcome.